Hello, and welcome to this quick stretch you can do right before bed. Today's routine is going to focus on relieving tension out of the hips, the legs, and the lower back, because so often that's where many of us are holding a lot of tension and stress. Hi, my name is Jesse McMaster, and I'm a holistic fitness trainer and certified body worker here to share tools that empower you to take your health into your own hands so you can show up for life feeling strong and confident in your body. For today's quick stretch, all you're going to need is a pillow or a folded blanket and something to put your legs up on. That might look like a chair or maybe a wall. Take a moment to get what you need. The way we're going to set up is we're going to put our folded blanket or pillow on the floor. We're going to get our hips on it. Carefully lay to the side our wall or our chairs in kind of in front of us. Lay to your side and then roll over and yes we are putting our legs up. After a long day it is really nice and beneficial for our body to invert, gently invert our bodies, which means getting our legs above our hearts. So take a moment to arrange. I can always scoop my hips back a little bit, give myself some more space, or I could scoop forward. What's most important is that your hips are relaxing. I don't want your tailbone to be curling up like this. So we want the sacrum to relax. Take a moment to find that. Relax your ribs down, lengthen the back of the neck and get the shoulders out of the ears. Now go ahead and take a big belly breath in. Fill your abdomen and a big open mouth exhale. We're gonna begin by taking the right leg up to the sky and we're gonna shake it. We call this therapeutic tremoring. So we're creating these kind of tremors. You can get as into it as you want to relieve the stress and tension, right? Getting that nervous energy out of the legs, that restless energy out of the legs. And then we're going to take this right ankle, cross it on top of that left thigh for figure four. Now, if I want more, my left foot, I can slide it back and kind of pin it on the edge of my chair. You can open your right knee away by pressing into that inner side of the knee. Whew. Lock out your right ankle by flexing your toes up and just make sure your right ankle is past your thigh. You want to feel that stretch in that right hip. Try to relax your sacrum down. Now, if you need less intensity, you want to scoot away from your chair or your wall. If you want more intensity, you kind of scoot towards it. So you're in charge here. Take a breath, lengthen the back of the neck. I enjoy rocking side to side. That gentle rocking, it's like a sweet lullaby for tight muscles. And so we're just soothing the tension out of the hips and the lower back. Big inhale, big exhale. Your breath is one of your best tools. So when we are you know, coming to the end of our day and we're trying to relax, we want long exhales. That's the focus. So I want you to really lengthen that exhale the best you can. All right, release that side, uncross that right leg, give it another shake. Roll that right ankle around in the sky a few times. Make sure to go in both directions. And then release that right foot down. We're going to switch sides. So left leg goes up. We're going to give it that shake. If it feels good, you might even take your arms up. Just use this opportunity to get the nervous energy, the restless energy out of the arms also. <sighs> and then we'll go figure four. Make sure the ankle is past the thigh. Lock out the ankle a little bit by flexing the toes up. And then I can put my left hand on the inside of this knee and push the knee open. And then you find what feels good. Now, this is a really good opportunity. You don't have to look at me here. We already did this on the other side. So this is a good opportunity to close your eyes, relax your jaw. Because most likely your eyes have been open all day. You've been looking at things. You've been taking in information through your eyes. And right now, I want you to soften the eyes. You don't need to take information in from the eyes. Instead, we want to tune into the sensing and feeling body because that's how we get our nervous systems to downregulate. That's how we get the stress and the tension out. Big inhale, breathe into a soft belly. And a slow exhale. Okay, release that left leg. Left leg goes up, shake it out. Roll that left ankle around. You want at least five times in one direction and then five times in the other. And then go ahead and give both of your knees a hug. Rock side to side, massage your lower back on the floor. 
And we're gonna take a gentle twist here. So right arm out to the right side and allow the knees, if you're on a wall, you're just gonna kind of walk your feet down your wall. The legs are gonna fall to the left. Make it a priority to keep the shoulders on the floor. You can adjust your legs as you need to. If you need to scoot away from your wall, you can. Looking over that right shoulder and really focus on trying to breathe into your lower back. You don't need to force anything here. Your breath, these gentle movements, that is enough. Right? You've been handling things, you've been taking care of things all day long. And right now you just, whew, just be here, just breathe. One more big breath, try to get that breath into your lower back. And then slowly bring it back to center, maybe walking your feet up your wall. Give your knees a hug once you get center. You might even lift your head to kiss your knees. And then we'll do the other side. Left arm out, the knees go over to the right. Adjust however you need. Make it a priority to relax the shoulders, lengthen the back of the neck, and then turn the head to the left. And use your breath to deepen your experience of this stretch. Sending the breath all the way into the low back. As you exhale, releasing the tension. Letting go, release. Slowly bring it back to center. Give your knees a hug. Now this time, open the knees wide, reach along the inside of the legs for happy baby. Now if you can't get on, if you can't grab your feet, that's okay, you can just grab the shins or you can even just wrap your hands around the back of your knees. And you have options here. Some people like their feet facing the ceiling. Some might prefer the soles of the feet together and the knees wide, that's an option. And then sometimes it feels good to keep one knee bent and then you kick through the other leg. I call these Peter Pan legs, you know, you're flying through the air. You find what feels good. Breathe, you don't have to force it. And then release your feet. Now, if you have another couple minutes and you wanna just Take a few minutes to keep your legs up, which is so good for your circulation. It helps reduce restless legs. You can keep your legs up and maybe just lay here for a few more minutes. If you need to get up, make sure you roll over to the side as you come up. Take a moment, let yourself recalibrate, and then you can come up to seated. And take as much time as you need. Oftentimes coming up from the ground can be a little disorienting. Whatever you are choosing to do, thank you so much for sharing your time and sharing this short stretching practice with me. And if you found this video helpful, please help me by liking and subscribing. I hope you have a good restful night's sleep and I'll see you next time.